It's Monday. It's Halloween Monday. I just dropped off at the airport. I was busy in the evening. I was quite busy. It was one right after another, more or less. And then at around just after two, it got real quiet and I went to sleep. And um, I slept for a couple hours and then I got a call which woke me up to go halfway up the peninsula to Island View Road and pick somebody up to go to the airport. It turned out to be a $26 fare. Now I didn't count the money exactly from where I am, but I'll tell you that uh, around 10 o'clock at night was when I crossed the $200 boundary. So I'm probably got about 300 on somewhere like that maybe more I don't know exactly doesn't matter it was raining like crazy it was really pouring when I went to work instead of walking for five minutes I actually got in my car and drove to work because I would have been soaked completely soaked inside out had I walked to work yeah and I didn't really feel like being here but I, I went to sleep so that part was okay I was watching a, a video of a channel that I really like it's called Cold War Motors Cold War Motors is some guys in Alberta who who collect old cars and restore them and I find that entertaining I tried to watch this video three or four times and I don't think I've seen it all yet <laughs> I will have to go back and watch again the thing is about an hour long so yeah, that's what puts me to sleep. And oh, it's dark out here. It's really dark out here. Well, so much for the uh, Monday night, uh, Sunday night, sorry. Now it's Monday, it's Halloween Monday. It'll be Halloween tonight. Since it's a Monday, I don't think it's gonna be that big a deal. I think people have got the Halloween out of their system uh, if they, go to Halloween parties, it would have been Friday and Saturday. The Sunday, or the, the Monday, I don't think is going to be a big deal. Unless you're a kid, you know. But I think Halloween is one of those dying holidays. It's not as big a deal as it used to be. At least I don't think so. Well, four more nights to go this week. Well, at the airport again. It is now Tuesday morning, 4.25 a.m. Um, yeah, these people are going to Hawaii by ways of Vancouver. So Vancouver and then Hawaii. What a night it's been. It was Halloween night and there was at one point in time where I was <clears throat> being rushed. Um, being sent to an address and then I'm, almost, I'm halfway there and then it's canceled and then I'm being sent in the opposite direction and I'm halfway there and then I get sent in a third direction because that one was canceled as well. And then when I finally get to somewhere where uh, somebody needs a cab and they're, they're actually there, they end up going like for three blocks. And a number of times I was sent to a call and uh, I would get there and not find anyone and uh, try phoning them and then uh, not getting any answer on the phone. And the one time I got a text message on the MD on the uh, data 
tablet here saying, uh, we took another cab. Oh, gee, thanks, you know, make me work for nothing. And uh, of course, because we are short-staffed, we do not have enough drivers. I Numerous times I got sent to the next call being far away from where I was when I when people got out of my car. It's just been that kind of night. It's just been tiring and stressful and a real pain in the ass. There was one time they even got some people, I think they were Mexicans, and they were moving and they had all these bags full of clothes and shoes and they had guitars and they had a guitar amplifier and they had all this stuff basically filled the car to the rafters and I had trouble <laughs> I had trouble closing the tailgate but I got them there it was just frustrating you know just frustrating and now to get one to the airport I, I made the mistake of uh, being distracted when we left the place where I picked them up and so I didn't turn the meter on right away. And uh, yeah, I didn't turn the meter on right away. And because I didn't, uh, when I realized it was off, I turned it on. But of course, we were not at our at, at the place where I was supposed to pick them up. So I couldn't get off the trip when I cleared at the airport. Anyway, the guy was generous. He gave he compensated me for the. The amount that I I didn't uh, record with the meter, so it, it worked out in that way. What happened to our focus? Well, let's get some focus going on here. Focus, focus, focus. Anyways, the Halloween was just stressful. I got about 420 on, and uh, I've had about enough. I don't know if I'm gonna work much longer. 429 is the time right now. There's the focus, look at that. Airport again. Now it's, uh, 4.02 in the morning and it is uh, Wednesday morning I've got uh, about 250 on I spent the time from 1.30 till quarter after 3 sleeping I started watching a video and fell asleep slept through the warnings that I was going to get kicked off the board so I got kicked off the board and uh, I was crazy busy before midnight one right after another non-stop driving non-stop exhausted me and that's why I fell asleep I don't like the non-stop driving. It's too much, too much, too much. No matter where you end up and let somebody out, you got another call. And the other call isn't always necessary near you. It's not near you most of the time. And so you gotta rush because there's no cars near where the call is. I hate working that way. I like the sleeping part. The sleeping part was good. I started watching a video that was about an hour long. I think I watched about seven or eight minutes of it and dozed off. And then I got sent to an obscure little place that isn't even on GPS. I typed it into my phone and it didn't show me. Then I grabbed the map book and the map book was kind of obscure. It didn't show very well what was going on. Apparently these people live on a footpath rather than on, well it's called a lane 
but the lane that they live on is on a footpath and there's no sign saying the name of it so you get there and you go okay where is it and the lane that leads to it at one end has the number two on it on the on the uh, on the map and at the other end has a number one on it number two is apparently the lane that leads to the lane where I was picking these people up and the number one is supposed to be the lane where the people were being picked up but it's not drawn on the map because it's a footpath Ugh. go figure that one out I got to the end of the one lane and then some guy comes walking out with luggage and I said oh I guess I found it yeah whatever back to town two more hours left to go before before I have to meet up or hopefully not meet up with Mr. Punctual I will park the car just before 6 o'clock yeah we're dropping off at the airport once again it's been a kind of night where I fell asleep after putting the meatballs in the oven of course they got burnt but I ate them anyway I woke up at about 6 <coughs> Six is the beginning of my shift, but that's when I woke up to realize that the uh, that the meatballs had been overdone. So I just uh, shoved some frozen vegetables <laughs> in the oven in the microwave, <coughs> and I ate the uh, the burnt meatballs anyway. Then I had a shower and I got out here at about quarter to seven. Then I was busy, predictably, until about midnight. And then I had a couple more trips. And at 1.30, I had a break for two hours till 3.30. Now the time is five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning. So in the last hour and a half, I had about four trips plus I run to the airport I must have 300 on maybe a little more whatever I didn't I didn't count it yet or I did count it earlier but I didn't count it now hmm a lot of short trips tonight a lot of short trips and a lot of them were far away. This airport run, for example, I was in my usual parking lot watching a video, and then on the on the that thing on the tablet, there came a, a message saying, "Can someone help out with uh, time calls in zone 79 and 76?" And I thought, "Well, yeah, I could go for one in 76. 79 is a little far." So I went for the one in 76 and found out that it was a time call and it was past due. I was supposed to have picked up a few <coughs> a few minutes before I even found out about the trip. Something wrong with that picture. Usually time calls are given out with enough time for you to get there for when the trip is due. But yeah, we have a, a less experienced dispatcher. The senior dispatcher retired uh, some time ago, a few months ago. since he's been gone they've hired on new people who don't have the experience 
and it's an automated system, but it can be over, you can override it if you're dispatching. And maybe this dispatcher didn't override things soon enough. Anyway, I'm pretty tired. The extra sleep I got in the evening uh, was probably necessary. Because I get home so wound up and stressed after being out here that it takes me a long time to wind down and relax. It takes a long time. And of course I get to sleep later than I anticipated or later than I planned. It's always like that. Been like that for 16 months. One more night to go this week. It has been a mostly slow night, which I was quite thankful for. I like slow nights. I get to relax. I get to sleep. I'm not stressed. Well, I had one fare. Oh. fare out of town towards Sydney and as I was heading out to the airport uh, I was heading out to Sydney and I got a call or I, I got the message that they had multiple fares at the airport but by the time I got there there was one fare left and I got into the um, arrivals and there were these people with lots of luggage but uh, a, a driver from the cab company that uh, pays to uh, sit there came up behind me and said I had to leave. One of our drivers got his car loaded ahead of me with a bunch of luggage. And uh, anyway, it was a mess. I did not get away from the airport. Now, I'm getting another call in Sydney, which is going to take me back to the airport. So now I have to turn around, but I'm, I'm on the highway heading away from Sydney, so I have to turn around and then head on the highway back out to Sydney to get to this uh, 4th Street, um, 4th Street in Sydney pick up this customer uh, and I got on the highway just a little bit too early which is where I am now I just got on the highway and then I got sent to this address in Sydney so now I gotta go back yeah the night was uh, was quiet I had before coming out to Sydney I had two hundred dollars on Oh, I might have another C word. Oh, goodness. I started coughing a few days ago. Anyways, that's the way it's going. My weekend starts in an hour and a half. better than mine.